hello guys this is part 16 of how to create social network websites like facebook okay now this is a sample site if this is your first time uh, then i will advise you to start from the part one or you can start from the intro video so that you'll be able to learn more about these tutorials so as i said this is part 16. now my name is Samuel Quines. i'm the founder of Irida the guitars and Irida the Irida who's okay Irida the guitar is it's all about web designing okay we design professional website for anyone who need a, a business uh e-commerce website portfolio website dating website any type of website that you need you just reach out to us and if you need a high speed web hosting you can also buy some from our web hosting platform that is irida host uh, this is the link is below this video irida host come here we have affordable web hosting um packages and also uh cheap name uh what you call domain names okay now let us continue with the tutorials okay so this is a sample site it's a social network website we have uh where you can add post comment uh you'll be awarded points for posting commenting and other stuff okay good if you want to learn more as i said go to um uh, just search for our intro video it's on youtube or on our e-learning platform i'm talking about this very platform that is irida course community when you come here you have access to all the course here okay so this is the sample uh, the side that we are working on okay so first let me log in okay good so as you can see i'm on my dashboard and this is a side that we have been working on for the past a week now okay so so far so good this is what we have done and our last video we learned about how to add a shop page how to install um a that's tutor lms so right now we are going to look at how to add course to our website as i have done here when you come here go to courses and okay i have to log in first so let me do that so i've logged in as a user so when you come to the course page over here we have some courses here this is the uh the one we are working on you can come here and enroll in this course and learn for free okay for free so it's a social it's a community website you can learn you can download template and others for free now let us continue so we are here so right now in our last video we were able to add the shop menu and also to this side okay let me go to the whole page and also to this side and so when you click here we have sidebar menu okay so i'm going to show you how to add the course uh course to the menu okay so let's go to our dashboard first okay by first let me open this site in a new tab so that here will be our reference um interface that's the front end so let's go to the back end now let's go to all pages and we are going to look at the default uh, uh, pages that came with the installation of tutor elements okay so over here we have um that is shop shop uh, shop is from the woocommerce okay so let's see courses let me see if you can see courses here okay uh it, it is not here then it means that we have to uh, search for that okay i'm still searching for it but we don't have courses here so then let's go to tutor elements we have to go there and make uh, correct that so let's go to settings say over here let's see terms and condition page marketplace okay so let's go up and go to courses so over here summary course content access okay let's go down and see okay course retake we will allow that okay so let me save this and go to monetization okay so over here 
we can we have already selected the WooCommerce plugin. Okay, and what else? Okay, so let's go to Adams. Okay, uh, let's see. We have Adams here. That is where we can activate some of the uh, things that we want to add. For instance, um, if you want to group multiple calls to sell together, if you want to allow this, you can do that. And then we have a uh, content drip. That is where you can uh, restrict on the content so that you can even indicate that this content should be available at this date or this content should be available at uh, that is it okay good so let's go down and let's see multiple instructors this individual platform uh, course preview let's let me allow that assignment no course attachment yes then google meet i will not allow that or you can also allow that if you want okay report notification yes we need that calendar and email send email on various tutor events that is where uh, what do you call it um the, the 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 student will be able to see to get email after they have enrolled in a course okay good then what else uh, we don't need a classroom integration enrollment if you want certificate we want to add certificates great book i don't need that body body press because we have added body balls we have to allow this okay we have to allow this too it's very, very important and i think the rest is okay we don't need the others so i can now go down here let me see okay we don't have any save button here so which means that it's okay now let's go to settings again and over here you see we have a lot of features has been added now so let's go to design and let me see okay so let's go down uh, show showcase certificate yes yes we will allow that and this is a note and a certificate and you have this okay okay good so let me save this why okay the email we have to start working on the email okay okay so let's see okay so first let me go to email here good good so this is the email settings we have to select a logo template for email uh, let me select the one we did yesterday and do that it has been added then disable email banner if you want to do that you can go ahead uh email background i don't need it okay there is the course the, uh, the website name and the email address let's say uh, we want to make it info at every block dot xyz good that is the email okay good and these are some of the that's the footer that is the footer okay the email footer okay so the rest is okay okay so here we have email to students course enrollment so they will send an uh, 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 email to uh, a student when he or she enroll in the course and then quiz completion if you want to do that uh, so just select what you want just go ahead and new announcement posted this one is very very important updated and this one too you will allow that so the rest just go through it and change it now it has been saved now let's go to notification the notification uh, if you want to receive on site and push the push notification is whereby when when you send an email uh, they will they will see it on their browser okay so when i'm here it will pop up here on my browser it can be anywhere okay good that is the push notification let me go here and then on site that is whereby you when you are on the platform and maybe yeah, you when as soon as you go in the course you will get on site notification that you have subscribed to a course so if i i would advise you to select all okay because i don't have time i won't be able to select all so i've done just a few of them 
you can just go through them all of them okay authentication and uh, this one i don't need that certificate you can also indicate uh let's say authorization name so what will be the authorization name that is a radar the guitar that's the my brand name so uh that is the authorization name and um uh, authorization company name authorization name with other guitars authorization company name okay so the platform is let's say a radar course community so i can say that here okay so certificates page is certificate show an instructor name on the certificate no show the certificate link link in completion email yes signature so here you can add your signature okay okay good uh, i'm not going to cover that how to get a signature but you need to upload your signature okay so let's see i think there's something that um that is the course let me go to general it's not there courses okay so let us continue uh let's see i'm trying to locate something but i'm not okay so let me save it and let's go to uh, pages okay let's go here yes i think i found the place and that is tools okay so we have uh that is um important export now let's go here pages good okay so all the pages has been added uh okay this the login page we don't need that okay i'm a little bit um uh, i'm trying to locate one page course terms and condition oh. okay so we are here just go to advance and over here hide course content on shop page yes do that course archive page okay so we don't have course archive page yet the page did not uh it not create that page for us so we have to create that okay so let me go here and go to pages yes let's go to pages add new okay so we are going to add new page and that is courses okay all course or courses okay or course archive uh, yes, yeah, I'll make it courses. Okay, now I'll go back here. Let me go here and refresh the page. So make sure you select advance. Then you come here, course archive page. So you have to locate that. This is the courses you have to add that. So this is what I, this is the page that I was looking for. Okay, good. And the rest is okay. Okay, so the rest is okay. So I will just go down and save it copy copy protection uh yes and then you can even uh select this too okay or you can leave it hide admin bar and restrict access to wp admin for okay so select that good so to me the rest is okay let's go down here and save it okay so now let's go to menus we are going to add the menus that is we are going to add the top menu that's the course to the top menu and to the side so you go to appearance menus okay so over here i'll look through it and select courses and what else dashboard select the two of them where are we okay this is the top one so i will add it okay good so the co uh, the dashboard will be under uh, courses so then let me save it let's go here and refresh the page 
now it has been added okay and i can see the dashboard here when i click here then i will get the details of my profile okay that is good let me go back here okay so so far so good we are done with the top one we love the sidebar okay so let's come back again this time we will change the menu select so we have changed it from the top to the sidebar now we are now going to add the courses and the dashboard so over here i will rather drag this one here so that under courses uh, the icon that i will see i will select uh, go to legacy and select graduation okay so i will go with this and save it so here too i will select this dashboard so the dashboard let me make it something like a hole okay okay so home okay so let me go with this small one and save it okay so let's come back here and refresh the page okay so now we have the courses okay so i can undrag it and see the sub menu under that okay so let me close it so we have added the course page to the menus so right now we are not what we are going to do now is okay let me remove this uh, you see news feed is our landing page but i don't want to show it here so let's come back here and change it and make it and select top one save it good so i can come here and remove the news feed and save it from here okay so now when i refresh it the news feed is gone but it's still our home page oh come on i think i made a mistake okay so instead of removing it from there's the top bar okay yes top bar is okay so why can't i see that okay let me save it again okay so let me come back here and refresh the page okay now it's gone okay it's gone so now that's it okay so so far so good okay so far so good uh we are done with the adding the menus and other stuffs so all that i can say is thank you for watching please uh if you're watching this video on youtube i would advise you to subscribe okay subscribe to our channel and uh you see we are making this video for free so by doing that it will motivate us to do more to add more content so that you'll be able to also learn a lot from our channel thank you for watching bye bye